Hi everyone, welcome back to Virtual Club. I hope you're all having a great day today. Um, so for today's activity, um, we're gonna be mixing two things. So food and fun, hopefully. <laughs> so what we're gonna be making is peanut butter Play-Doh. And the ingredients you're going to need are peanut butter, honey, and powdered sugar. Now if you have any allergies, um, or if you're allergic to any of these, you can definitely switch them out. And if you don't have powdered sugar, that's okay too. You can use flour and you can use like almond butter or anything for this one. But let's get started. So I already went ahead and measured or yeah, I measured all of my ingredients out. So I'm gonna take my peanut butter first. And this is just one cup of peanut butter. There it is. I'm gonna take my spoon and put it into the bowl. Just like that. I'll make sure I get all of it. All right, so I got my peanut butter in there. And then I'm gonna take the powdered sugar and now you need two cups of powdered sugar. And remember, if you don't have powdered sugar, that's okay, you can totally use flour. So let's put that on in there. And the great thing about this is that it requires no heat. So you don't need a microwave, an oven, you don't need any of that. And then lastly, we have our honey. So you'll need a half cup of honey. Gonna pour that in there. Not if you can see. I'll make sure to get all that in there. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. So before you may get started. Whenever you're handling food, make sure you wash your hands. Want your hands to be nice and clean. And then also make sure you're not wearing anything that you don't care about getting messy in. So today I just bought an apron. So if you have an apron laying around your house, go ahead and use that. But yeah, this is the messy part. So to mix this, it's actually more effective if you use your hands. So I'm just going to get ready to use my hands. So there's what it looks like right now. So let me see. So it's gonna look a little, it's gonna look a little dry at first, but trust me, the honey and the peanut butter make it all really moist. So I'm just gonna get in there with my hands. I'm just gonna knead it. You can see, sorry. So I'm just taking all the ingredients and literally squeezing them all together. And so this is gonna take a minute, just make sure you get it to the point where it looks like Play-Doh. And when it feels like Play-Doh. If it feels greasy, go ahead and add more flour or powdered sugar. Mm, this is yep, it's getting all over my hands it's really messy so just keep that in mind and this um, this is a fun activity that you can do with your parents or your siblings Just make sure I got all the flour. In there. Okay, I think it's 
almost good. Okay, I'm gonna take a little break just to go wash off my hands really quick or rinse them off and I'll be right back. So now I took a break just to go wash my hands off because it was getting a little too messy. So that is going to be a necessary step in this activity. But let me go ahead and I'm going to see if I can move this stuff so that I can show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of powdered sugar on a cutting board that I have. And then I'm just gonna put all of the mixture out here. Okay. Okay. So let me put this bowl away. Okay. So it still looks like it needs some work right now. So I'm just gonna finish that up. And the nice thing about all these ingredients, because the honey and the peanut butter, they're both very oily. So with your flour or powdered sugar, it's going to absorb all of that and give you a Play-Doh texture. Okay. And it's gonna take some time, so no worries, take your time. And remember to have fun with it too. Okay. Nice, so here is our peanut butter play-doh and what I did what I found was helpful when I made this at first I did this last night and I left another one of these so I made another peanut butter play-doh yesterday and I just left it in the fridge and I let it cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and doing that just allowed my mixture to become just a little bit harder but yeah, it's as simple as that. And so now, now that you've got everything mixed in, let me make sure I get all this. Now that you got everything mixed in, you can go ahead and make shapes out of it. So what I thought would be a fun idea is if we did a shape challenge. So for our first shape, we are going to make, let's see, let's try and make a square. So take as much or as little as you need. I'm just gonna take this much. Let's see. And it's kinda hard, so go ahead and you can use whatever you have around the house. So you can use a spoon. I think I forgot the butter knife that I had. But let's see if I can do this, if I can recreate it again. Cause it does take some time. You see. And I'm just gonna take my spoon since that's all I have at the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my peanut butter play-doh into a square. So I'm just cutting these right over here. Cutting all the ends off and I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm no artist, but Ooh. Okay. Ooh. This is a sloppy looking square. But a for effort, right? So there's my square, and then the next shape that you can make, oh, I said a star, so let's see how we do with that one. So I'm gonna take this, roll it up, get it ready to go, and put it down, flatten it, and then I'm gonna take my spoon again, and I'm gonna try my best to make a star. So 
So when I'm what I'm doing with my spoon is I'm just gently pressing into the to the peanut butter play-doh. I'm making lines with the ridge of the spoon. So almost done making the last two points. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's my star. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out now. And if you have any stencils at home, that's even better. Because you can go ahead and just stamp it right onto your peanut butter play-doh. I keep wanting to say cookie dough, but this is not cookie dough. Okay. Ooh, messed up a little bit on that end. So we're getting our star cut out. Ooh, this is a little, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> okay. But here is a star. Make sure I got all these off. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just make it to your liking. Ooh. Yep, see the more. The more I play with this, the weirder it gets. There is my star. <laughs> and then for the next shape, let's do a heart. So I'll take a bit of my peanut butter Play-Doh, pull some up here. All right. And I'm gonna try, let me see if I can do it without a shaping tool. We'll see how that goes, but let's see. Because it's just like Play-Doh, you can really do whatever with it. The only thing is when you make it fresh, it might be a little bit more moist than Play-Doh. But that's okay, it's nothing a little bit of powder can fix, or can't fix. <laughs> it's a little bit harder without a shaping tool. But just take your time, have fun with it. And again, like I said earlier, it's fun when you do it with others. So if you have your siblings or your family members, go ahead and do it with them. All right, y'all, this is not the best heart. It doesn't need, <laughs> but here you go. So there that is. And then also, you can take any type of sprinkles that you have laying around your house. I found this. I actually had it in my cabinet. So, go ahead and open this. I'm going to take some out. Put a little bit. See what I want to use. And, on, and depending on what you make, you can put co certain colors on there. If you have colored sprinkles, if not, you can just place them wherever you'd like. So I'm just going to place these all around. This is looking less and less like a heart, <laughs> but that's okay. All right. So there's that. I don't know what this turned into. But there you go, it's your shape. All right, well, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you had fun making this and that you have fun making it with your friends or in your family. And yeah, let us know also how it goes and let me know what shapes you make. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day.